I think you said the, the key, which was Carl Malden. Mm. And I was fortunate in the beginning of my career to work with one of the greatest supporting actors. Because mind you, Carl's career throughout all the years he worked with Marlon Brando and all the people that worked with him, he was a supporting actor and everybody wanted to work with him. Why? Because he made everybody else look good. Mm. He knew that it was as important for him as for everybody else to be as good as they possibly can. So when I took on this, this, this role, I was sort of the, uh, the second banana in those TV shows. And normally back then on those TV shows, the second lead was sort of in soft focus, about a foot and a half right, behind right, the right. lead. <laughs> you know, because they, those ends, the, the focal lens, they couldn't carry it. So, and Carl was the first guy, and maybe the second year of the series, he said, come on, come here, come on up. Yeah. And he put me up there, and he let me direct a couple of the shows. And he taught me from the very basis about a work ethic. Because mind you, we were doing 26-hour shows a year mm. on location in San Francisco, which meant a six, hour, six days a week schedule. So we worked eight and a half months straight up there on location with a new director each week, new, co new guest stars. So working with Carl, who, because of the scripts and the pressure, wanted to have next week's script delivered to him before he started that week's script. So every time we had a break right. between lighting assignments, we would go run our lines upcoming. So as a result, for the writers, they hated us. They hate us because the scripts ended up having to be six pages longer because we picked up our cues. And because we knew how to say it. So that, that became the signal, excuse me, for guest stars coming up so you better be on your toes these guys you know they're so we, we created a, a a quality of level that i will be eternally grateful to for my entire career to yep. carl 